is this? Tabletop Island. Let's see what this is all about. Travel across the village and use action points to guide the mighty dragon, Trogdor the Burninator, where he will burninate the peasants, burninate the cottages, and best of all, burninate the countryside. But watch out for the archer's arrows, the knight's sword, huh, did I say sword? I'm in dagger. Or worst of all, don't cross paths with a trog hammer because he looks awesome. Now don't worry, Trogdor never gets defeated, he just rages quits. So have fun in this friendly and cooperative game of destruction. Trogdor the board game. Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the board game Trogdor. Oh, this is such a funny one. In fact, if you guys have heard of the uh, Homestar Runner Strong Bad videos. This is where this derived from. There was a Trogdor video and they kind of built upon a song and just it got so it spiraled and they are an extremely viral video series from what I've been told. I'm going to be honest with you. I hadn't watched them or really heard of them prior to seeing this board game. A friend of mine ended up backing it and I saw the cover and it really resonated with me. I was super interested and in I saw the back of the cover and it just looked such a hilariously fun game. <laughs> Time and time passed and I ended up going to Gen Con and I saw it. it was actually a really solid price for the deluxe version which is what I was looking for because oh my gosh the component quality is amazing. Just take a look at these meeples. They are pre-painted. The detail is fantastic. The plastic actually doesn't replicate any plastic I've seen in miniatures prior. Um, if you guys have the game and you can think of a game that really reminds you of these types of meeples, I'd be really interested because I think the quality is fantastic. Now, if you don't get the deluxe version, you do still get these really nice wooden meeples. So don't get discouraged too much if you don't want to pay the heavier price for the nicer meeples. You even get kind of a bonus stacking game here too which is just a fun little added bonus and the, there's these meeples too of the Homestar Runner characters also you can take a look at their website as to where to buy it I'll have a link in the description where you can get this game and kind of compare prices if this sounds like the kind of game for you again I hadn't heard of the whole strong bad home runner series um, Homestar Runner series um, but that didn't take away from my enjoyment of the game I find it to be completely wacky ridiculous and hilarious all at the same time including the flavor text on the cards itself but let's take a look at the components again much like I stated everything is just top-notch even the little cottages here have this really nice mechanism to where when you end up burninating the cottages itself you rotate the cottages roof and it has a fire burned um, burninated section underneath it oh that's so cool and then you have the peasants itself which add the fire on top of their head whenever they're burninated even have these really nice tiles there's 25 of them the thickness is fantastic just the overall quality is great you have the regular side and then when they ended up getting burninated you flip them over to the burninated side this reminds me a little bit of dragoon um, the gameplay is entirely different it's just the tile kind of piece there reminds me a little bit of that too but let's talk a little bit about the gameplay so you have Trogdor now this is an entirely cooperative game one to six players which yes it is a solo game too because the um, kind of villains or the opposing um, bad guys in the game are AI activated so all of their movements are activated by a card but we'll get there so you're taking Trogdor on each one of your turns. You have a character with its own ability. I'll let you guys take a look at the abilities if this seems like the kind of game for you. You are first starting your turn by drawing an action card and then you're playing an action card. Now with the action card, it gives you a certain amount of action points which allows you to take actions. I know that sounds like a big tongue twister. I'm sorry. You're moving your guy. That's That can be one action, moving to a tile. Burninating a tile, which could be an action. Chomping on a peasant, that could be an action, which when you you actually eat them it goes to your health track you start off with four but then it adds health to your board itself whenever they get removed as damage then they go to the void which they will never come back so you can't get that health point back so there is a point where you can no longer start getting health 
I know. Now the other piece here is burninating the peasants. When you burninate them, they you actually draw a movement tile. At the end of each one of your action turns, you draw a movement tile. But specifically when you burninate them, when you draw the movement tile, you're moving that one peasant around the board and they are burninating each tile they land on. If they end up landing or ending or moving through a lake, it puts them out and they get removed to the void. Once they finish burninating their uh, movement or whatever, they also get removed from the board into the void. But that's a really nice way and a really slick way in terms of kind of burninating a lot of the board. And then you can burninate the cottages. Now, in order to burninate the cottages, you must burninate each tile around the cottage itself, including adjacently diagonal. Now, once you do that, you burninate the tile the cottage is on and then the cottage itself. It, it sounds like it would be really easy, but it's not. So at the end of each one of your um, kind of action turns, then you have movement. So you can move the knights, which can hurt you when they pass through you. The archer, which if you're on either side of them, they can kind of shoot their arrows and shoot damage to you also. And then when you end up revealing action cards that show the trog hammer and he hits the board, he can also do damage to you too. He's not a fun one to deal with. Now again, these movement tiles not only move these characters, but they can also sometimes repair tiles and even cottages, which can be really frustrating. So while you think you just move around, avoid the characters and burninate everything, they can also kind of fool your plans and make it a little more complicated. Now you have certain action cards and certain things to where you can talk with your opponents and explain a little bit of some of the plays that you can make there, but the cards itself are extremely silly. The flavor texts are hilarious. There's even a card with the cheat, which is one of the characters from his series, um, which basically just says cheat in the game and create your own rule and do whatever you want with it as that one time. I know that's ridiculous, but it's so hilarious, so fun. The game's easy to teach. I would say fun for the whole family. I didn't see anything too prerogative about the game, but it's such a silly. You have this dragon with this fist coming out of his back. It's just so ridiculous, but it's so fun. And the game is so simple. I don't think you need to watch the series or have watched the series to really enjoy the game itself. But I do recommend taking a look at that video too. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in seeing where it came from. But honestly, that's all I have for you guys today. It's easy to teach, fun for the whole family, and honestly, the replayability is amazing. The AI deck can be shuffled in so many different combinations, and there's an easy, normal, and hard mode to the game, which can add even more depth to the game and more variability um, in terms of where you have each tile set up. But honestly, that's all I have for you guys today. If you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous. And with your guys' help, I have been doing so. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys next time.